Now to the latest battle on the uh, Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to U.S. Supreme Court. Today, senators will begin reviewing the results of the FBI investigation into allegations of sexual assault. Lawyers for his ac accuser say they are profoundly disappointed, and now all eyes turn to the handful of senators still on the fence. Our ABC correspondent Emily Rao is in Washington. A late night motion in the Senate officially kicking off the countdown to a crucial vote. I'm filing cloture on Judge Kavanaugh's nomination. With Brett Kavanaugh's lifelong appointment to the nation's highest court on the line, the full Senate could vote on his final confirmation this weekend. The decision could come down to a handful of undecided senators, including Republicans Lisa Murkowski, uh, Jeff Flake, and Susan Collins, along with Democrat Joe Manchin. So I'm going to look and see what this report and investigation says. All four condemning President Trump's mockery of Christine Blasey Ford at a campaign rally. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. Senator just Flake on NBC. Right. I wish he hadn't have done it. Um, uh, just to say it's it's kind of appalling. The president's comments were just plain wrong. After spending much of the day Wednesday defending the president. It wasn't anything other than the president stating facts. The White House is now debating the release of the findings of that FBI investigation as attorneys for Kavanaugh's first accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, attack its merit. Releasing this statement saying a supplemental investigation that did not include an interview with her nor the witnesses who corroborate her testimony cannot be called an investigation. We are profoundly disappointed. Senators will have a chance to review the FBI's report today starting at 8 a.m. And overnight, the White House saying they are fully confident the Senate will confirm Judge Kavanaugh. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington.